Yo awesome guys, bang old video, so recently I've been doing a few videos here and there disassociated from TikTok like the Lana Rhodes breakup and then after a week they reunite together, some really interesting stuff. Although in today's video as you can clearly tell by the title we're back waffling about the TikTok community. It's seen something in particular recently has got people talking where Charlie deleted one of her TikToks from a few days ago. By the way, the reason there's Minecraft audio over that, you probably think, hang on, that's just a bit strange. There's no chance to use that audio herself. Well, I'm not trying to get into any copyright issues. I've got kids to be. Apparently, she just decided to delete the TikTok due to the backlash she was getting. And so many people mentioned in the comments, why did she upload a TikTok with her crying out of nowhere? There was even this YouTube video uploaded about the situation where someone tried to claim that the reason she was crying in that TikTok is because Dixie moved out to a new apartment. Which, before you even start to think that is the reason, there's no chance it is complete waffle. Literally everyone under that video was commenting stuff like Guys, she's not crying because Dixie moved And someone else said The first vid isn't real guys She didn't cry when Dixie moved out She just did this vid with Larissa song and told everyone that Dixie moved out And I just think I lost some brain cells Even trying to comprehend what that comment is trying to come about If you can clarify what they're trying to talk about Please comment below I think the reason she even posted that TikTok in the first place Because it was like an ongoing trend Where it was basically like reality versus expectation Also sort of following on from this Dixie posted like a duet TikTok with Charlie Where she tried to claim that when Dixie moved out She doesn't care, stop making a big deal out of it but then Dixie, of course, provided receipts. It seems in most situations where it's like providing receipts or proof of a situation, Dixie, she's always there. She's done it before with the Griffin situation. Jesus Christ, you don't know how that turned out. Moving on from that, around a week ago, Charlie went live on Instagram to sort of talk about the hate people receive on TikTok and how people are so quick to switch up. Talking about switching up, if you're this far into the video and you're still not, join in life, because what are you doing? Smash that red button. So I guess they do have somewhat, like whatever, I'm on the internet, I post videos of myself. You can, I guess, comment on what you like. But the fact that they or someone's skin color or if they have acne or anything, like, ugh, huh? Like what? Like, you're so stupid. If you're just constantly making videos about how other people look. Like for what? I mean, most of the people even leaving comments about her appearance as a whole, they are clearly probably like 10, 11, 12 year old boys who are literally only doing it to evoke a reaction. There is pros and cons to each situation if you want to call them out or if you want to let them do it. Because at the end of the day, if you're doing this live ranting about the whole situation, it only feeds them more to want to make them leave more comments. I realized like throughout all of this, people will say anything to get likes. Like, whether it's talking about someone's new whatever, they changed in some way. Well, the fame got to them. Or well, they looked better before. Or they shouldn't have done that. Like, it's not you. Keep your mouth shut. It's not you. What? Baffles me. Now, I don't know if she's trying to direct this at me right now. I feel like she's literally saying it to me. She's like, keep your mouth shut. Can we please get a hashtag justice for Logan in the comments? Oh my goodness. Even like... Bella Porch, she uses the face zoom filter and she looks good doing it. You guys gave her the likes. Don't go back on what you said because you're mad that she has a lot of followers because it's the people that are leaving hate comments that are doing that. So don't get mad at it. Like, and the, the girl, she has that really, really beautiful smile. People were like, all she does is smile. Yeah, she has a beautiful smile. Speaking of M to the B, she's sitting on 41 million followers. Her career blown up has been like three to four months time. It is crazy the amount of careers stemmed from the app itself. Hang on a minute, let's just talk about this for a second. When you actually take a step back and look at the situation from a bird's eye view and you see all these keyboard warriors leaving all their comments to different creators on a day-to-day -day basis, literally spending their whole energy of the day doing this to different craze, it goes to show they literally have nothing going for them and they're complete mongrels. Don't get mad at things that you're causing by giving more attention to that person. If you really wanted me gone, stop interacting with all my stuff. Huh? Like, if I was truly doing something wrong, like, okay, then whatever. But the fact that I literally just look different than I did a year ago, because first of all, puberty's a thing. I changed. 
Like... This is one of the comments that I just never understand. It's not even just TikTok, it's like YouTube and all different platforms. When they see their creators, they have been suffering the start and they see them grow up and grow up and they say, oh, we missed the old you. It's like the person expects you to have the exact same personality and style from the beginning of your career to end. As you guys know, on my channel, I like to give the most added scars at the shouts. Whether you're a keyboard or not, like, you know what, just give me a shout. All you gotta do is just be active on the channel, whether that's going to see like and go on subscribing, all different videos. And today's shout out someone called Farusi Farusi, thank you so much for supporting the channel, much appreciated. And like, some kid replied to my comment on his post that was snarky, and that was, you looked better a year ago, and I said, sorry that my confidence scares you, get better soon. And he said, Charlie, your fans came at me really fast. Yeah, because they understand that that's not the right thing to do, and that's, first of all, morally wrong for most people, and second, why do you think that, like, you can say anything about the way I look? Oh, it just, it's so frustrating. And I've been, it's been almost a year that I've been in this like world and it's not changing. And I feel like that's the most frustrating part because I try so hard to put so much positivity out there and I get a lot of negativity in return. And I know people say that I don't get a lot of hate, which is honestly quite true. I used to get a lot more. So I definitely understand, but seeing it about other people, people I love, people I care about, people that... I think are just genuinely great people. It's incredibly frustrating to see them being brought down, especially over things that they cannot control. Another thing is when these keyboard warriors leave the comments on the post, they say like all these annoying things to try and bait people. Say the creator baits into it replies. They then say back, oh yeah, I'm a massive fan. I didn't actually think you reply. He goes show the actual person behind the screen itself in a nutshell. Everyone in the comments below responds to this whole live itself and whole rant you was going on. The majority of people saying stuff like, People need to realize that she doesn't control how many likes she gets. Like she may be a little overhyped, but she can't control that at all. It's kind of funny how they had to mention that she is a little overhyped. But if you are the person that is commonly saying, why is she getting millions of likes? I don't understand the hype around her. But then you're giving her the engagement, giving her the likes. It's like, what the hell do you expect from the situation? It's baffling. Anyway, guys, that's part of the video. I hope you did enjoy. As always, let me know your guys' thoughts and comments down below about this video and the situation in her live stream, where she's writing, what she's spitting, fact or fiction. But remember to always put hashtag loafers in the comments. Follow up my social media, Instagram at loafube, same as the Twitter. If you did enjoy, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you. Layer.